Now, before you head off, buddy, I believe you had a hypothesis. My hypothesis is that Ernie belongs to one really huge family. Interesting. <laughs> I bet you'll be able to test that hypothesis, because there it is, the Cretaceous Picnic Grounds. <gasps> Whoa, it's picnic heaven. <laughs> are known to be big and pretty, uh, active. Okay, we're all off the train. Want to go meet the rest of us? Wait, there's more of your family? <laughs> Come on! And this is where my family picnics. Actually, we call our group a herd. <laughs> Huge. You must have so many kids in your family. Yeah, lots and lots of brothers and sisters. Actually, I only have a mom and a dad, and two sisters. They're around here somewhere. We have two other kids in our family, too. Shiny and Dawn. So your family isn't any bigger than ours. Yeah, I have a regular sized family. But my herd is huge. It's actually a bunch of small families that make up one big group. My herd travels around together, and we find food together, and protect each other. So, a lot of small families make up a big herd. This is different, isn't it, Tiny? Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. <gasps> Whoa, honey, two of your family members yeah. are fighting! Ah! Someone's got to stop them! Nah, that's just Uncle Jack and Cousin Ralph. Watch what they do. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So, it's not a real fight? Nope, just practicing. Practicing? Practicing what? Scaring animals with their horns? Well, when you live in a herd like we do, we do protect each other from predators. Oh, it certainly is impressive, Ernie. Thanks, Mrs. Ceranodon. But mostly what the big grown-ups do, like my Uncle Jack, is help lead the herd. Which one's Uncle Jack? Want to meet him? Yeah! Uncle Jack! Ernie! <laughs> How's it going, nephew? Good. Meet my friends, Mrs. Pteranodon, Tiny, and Buddy. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. That practice fight was amazing. Yeah, you liked it, huh? Well, there's a lot of us Ineosaurus to lead, and we are just like one big happy family. Hello, Dolores. Hello. Tracks barely smell like anything. I think Dolores and Annie have been gone for a long time. Like what, weeks? Yeah, weeks and weeks. But why would they leave? <gasps> oh no, what if they moved away? Oh, I can see you're really worried, buddy. But we'll solve the mystery. Yeah, buddy, we love mysteries. We'll solve it by looking for clues and asking questions. Like what? Well, we could ask some other species that lives here. Mm, like that bird up there. <coughs> um, are you an Avisaurus? Oh, oh, uh, yes. You sure know your species. <coughs> Hi, I'm Tiny Tyrannina. And this is my mom and my brother, Buddy. <coughs> Hello. We're looking for Dolores and Annie Tyrannosaurus. <coughs> Do you know them? Did they move away from here? Oh, uh, yes, I know them. A and yes, they did move away a few weeks ago. Where? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> they went north with some other T-Rexes. Where north? How far north? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I heard them talking about quadruped corners. And this is my brother, Buddy. Uh, hello, I'm Martina Margasaurus. Pardon my asking, but you seem to have come from far away. You're right. We're on a world tour. We've come so far. From Tyrannodon Terrace, way up north on the western interior sea. Wow, that is far away. Welcome to Amargasaurus Acres, Buddy and Tiny. Martine, I observe that you not only have spines on your back, you even have a kind of sail thing. Yes, we're very proud of our sails. Tiny, I have a new hypothesis. You know how we thought their spines kept Amargasaurus cool? 
I bet their sails might be how they keep cool. Excellent hypothesis, buddy. And look how the Margosaurus are all lined up sideways to the wind. Maybe that's how they stay cool with their sails. I'm not sure if my spines and my sail keep me cool, but they certainly are cool looking, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. But Martin, your spines and sail make you look bigger too. You know, to scare off predators. Oh, you mean like Giganotosaurus? Giganotosaurus? Those are the big meat eaters around here. <laughs> But they look like Giganotosaurus. Oh, they're Giganotosaurus, all right. Excuse me. Oh, these aren't just leaves, my friend. Fresh leaves are sources of water. Plant eaters like me can get lots of water by eating these beauties. Yeah, yeah, but you're not eating my leaves, you're picking them. So I can bring them with me. Now that the drought's hit, we have to head out to look for a new home where there's water. A new home? Sure, that's what dinosaurs do. Sometimes when a drought happens, they move away. Well, <laughs> big. Droughts make things so dry that sometimes dinosaurs have to move away. See? There you go. But this isn't a big drought at all. Your father is right. This is just a little drought. No one has to move away anywhere. So stop taking all my leaves! Well, I just realized, with us moving away from here to find water, that might be the last time you yell at me for taking your leaves! <laughs> That's, uh, really <laughs> sweet, Larry. Uh, I'll miss you, too. <laughs> oh, I almost missed these. <gasps> See you in our next habitat, Pteranodon Clan. I don't want a next habitat. I love our home. Do we have to leave our nest? Do we really have to move? I want to stay right here. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Thanks a lot. Kids, don't worry. We're not moving anywhere. You mean creatures don't really move away in a drought? In a serious drought, they do. Big droughts can be big trouble for creatures, unless they either move or adapt. Adapt? You adapt when you change your behavior to deal with the new conditions around you. Look. See the way Cindy Simolestes is lying down in the shade? Is that what she usually does all day? No, she's usually up in her tree, playing. Right. Cindy's adapting to the heat by keeping cool and conserving energy. That means resting. Hey! Honey! Honey! Oh, goodness! The Pteranodon family! What on earth brings you out here? We came to visit you at Rexville, but you were gone. It was a mystery and we solved it. Hooray! You came all the way out here to find us? Oh, I'm sorry you had to go to so much bother, Mrs. Pteranodon. Not at all. You know how the kids love a good adventure. I still don't get it. Why do you and the quadrupeds all go north? We always go north in the spring, buddy. It's called migration. Migration? Migration means we're on the move. When it gets warmer, the herds of dinosaurs go north to eat leaves. But you're carnivores. You don't eat leaves. Nope. We eat the quadrupeds that eat the leaves. Oh. They're herbivores, so they move north to look for more green stuff to eat. They migrate, so we migrate too. We follow the meat. To get enough to eat. Huh? I guess we pteranodons are lucky. We eat fish, and we can always find fish near our place. Yeah, and T-Rexes need to migrate because we need to eat a lot. I know. Roar! <laughs> <laughs>